What's going on, folks? I got something important to talk to you about. It's about keeping your fish alive in your life well. It's something that a lot of people, including me, have known about for years. I don't even remember where I learned it from. And it's simple science. Now, if you watched my video where I carried my grandson to a kid's fishing tournament, we had a malfunction with the switch panel on this here brand new boat, which got fixed. But during the middle of the day, that switch panel took a dump. I had no way to turn on any of the live well pumps. The auto bilge pump, the rest of the boat worked fine, but I couldn't turn on any of the pumps to either live well. And this, this boat has two separate live wells. We got in the tight spot. Thank God it was cold weather. But I was prepared. Now, cold water fish will usually be fine in there. Um, their metabolism slower. They're gonna be okay. Warm days, warmer, hotter water, not so much. You know, you hear people, oh, I put a bunch of ice in there. That's good and bad. You cool fish down, yeah, you get to weigh them in, you throw them back in hot water, you don't know what their mortality is. They probably swim off, but they probably die later. There's a very high percentage or chance that they could die later. What we did that day was I couldn't pump water into the live well, couldn't pump water out of the live well, had no reser. So, these nitro boats, a lot of the newer boats come with a little trash can, a little roommate trash can. Bo caught him a fish to weigh in. Um, when that switch went down, the nav lights were on it, my GoPro quit. Wasn't working. Didn't matter at that point. I was there for my grandson to have a really good time, catch him as many fish as he could, and get to go through the weigh-in process and get prizes, and it was a really, really great experience. And it still was a great experience. Um, thanks to this knowledge. We took the trash can out, put water in the live well. Then, we put his fish in there. Or actually, you know, all at the same time. The one thing that's very important for me to talk to you about is what I keep in the boat for that. And let's see. If you'll look right here, cheap bottle of peroxide. That's all it is. You can pick this stuff up. This is no name brand. It's a buck. Sometimes less. I don't know. It's not. It's cheap either way. This is a uh, medicine cup, what have you. You can get it off of uh, cough syrup, NyQuil. You probably got something like that laying around. The thing is, it's 30 milliliters. 30 milliliters is an ounce. An ounce is actually 29.5, I think doesn't matter. It's one ounce. There's your measuring tool. Hydrogen peroxide, 3%. Make sure that you see that. That's 3% is H2O2. Now, you don't have to be a, a scholar to know that H2O is water, right? We drink it every day. Peroxide has extra molecules attached to it. That's why it's H2O2. You can dilute this in to your live well and it will give the fish oxygen in the water if you don't have a, a recirculate. Your aerator has took a dump. Now, you do need to be careful. You can basically do a one to three, one to five, something like that ratio. You need to know roughly how big your tank is. Don't be 
and I can't stress it, don't be that guy. Well, if one ounce is good, two's better. Not in this situation. I assure you, and if you try this or you talk to some of us old dudes that knows this trick, this right here will jack those fish up so bad, you'd better have coal tags on them when you open that up because they will fly out back into the water or into the parking lot. They are jacked up. They've got plenty of oxygen. These are 19 gallon live wells. You only really probably need to put one of the, put one ounce in there to start with. Fill them up, put your fish in there, dump one of these in there. I, you know, you got 19 gallons, you're only going to put one of these per three gallons. That's your best bet. I probably shouldn't have said you could go one to five. That would make everybody stay on the safe thing, but there's no sense in blowing sunshine, you know? Keep you this on your boat. Get you a little measuring cup. Make sure it's 30 milliliters or one ounce. Don't use a shot glass, it's a little bigger. Keep that head somewhere on your boat. Even if you're running your aerator, it's not gonna hurt. Give them a little dose of this they'll be happy they're plenty oxygenated and like i said you'll be amazed at how bad it jacks them up if i hadn't had bo's fish on coal tags when he went to get them out to weigh i mean he could not he had he couldn't hardly get a hold of them when he had a hold of the leash when he pulled it up i mean they were it's incredible how good it is and for this live well here i would probably never Put more than about three of those in there. That's what? Three gallons, six gallons, nine gallons? Yeah. You don't need any more than that. You don't need to do it all at once. Put them a little dose in there when you first put them in there. Check on them later before weigh-in. If they look like they uh, need a little boost, give them another little shot. But you probably won't have to. One or two of those, depending on how many fish you have in there, will be just fine. It also has another use. You hear people, uh, you get a fish that's bleeding and it bleeds all over your carpet. Uh, don't pour this on the fish, but you can pour this on your boat carpet and it'll get rid of the, uh, the blood stain real quick. Then take some water and splash it off if you uh, get a hook stuck in your hand or a cut use it for what we use it for you know antiseptic anyway that is a little hack to help you keep your fish alive because you want to take care of these fish especially if they're big ones we want to put those back in the water we want them to swim off we want them to live we want them to make little fish you get into the five pound and up those fish have lived quite a quite a few years and survived it's a miracle that they're making it in today's time sometimes you want to treat them with the most respect you don't want to kill them you don't want to just keep them alive so hopefully you can get first place trophy or win your tournament either. Uh, be a good conservationist and uh, take care of our resource for our beloved sport of bass fishing other than that have a great day get your butt up off the couch and go fish you can watch tv tonight